Growth is a journey, a path of ongoing participation and involvement. We as leaders need to cultivate a hunger in people's hearts for growth. The question, what's next, mm -hmm. is important if we are to help others follow Jesus, grow spiritually strong and become effective and fruitful disciples. This is why we encourage everyone to faithfully follow and participate in the discipleship growth path, cultivating a lifestyle of honoring God. But before we explain the growth path, we need to understand the heart behind why there is a discipleship growth path. We value every believer's growth. It's important that we grow spiritually strong, that we grow not just faithful, but we grow fruitful. And according to Matthew 28, Jesus commands us to go and make disciples. So the very first reason why I grow path is God commands us to go and make disciples and every disciple to make disciples. The second reason is God calls the church and its leaders, according to Ephesians 4 verse 12, to equip every believer for the work of ministry. Every believer is precious in God's eyes and they have a gift in their lives to be equipped in so that they can go out and minister and expand God's kingdom. But part of that in Matthew 28 verse 18, Jesus says, All authority belongs to me. Go therefore and make disciples. It's when we understand that God calls us, He commands us, but then also He empowers us with the highest form of pure power to go and affect the world around us. We can penetrate every business. We can penetrate every company, every political sphere with normal disciples, normal people that does extraordinary things. And our heart with the growth path is because we value your growth, we want you to grow not just faithful, but also become fruitful. The Discipleship Growth Path is our spiritual family's roadmap to equipping the saints, as mentioned in Ephesians 4 verse 12. We want to teach people how to engage culture and community, establish biblical foundations, equip believers to minister, and empower disciples to make disciples. There are dedicated resources and training programs running throughout the year, all while our disciples are actively participating in discipleship groups. This past holiday we had the opportunity to accidentally stumble upon a Buddhist festival and got to spend five hours with a Buddhist and um, he asked us intense questions but we had the opportunity to share our faith and what I love about the training we get at Every Nation is that it gives you the confidence and the boldness and um, basic knowledge to share your faith with someone of any other religion and despite the questions he asked um, we could share our faith and um, he didn't come to Christ that day but I really believe that we had the opportunity to plant seeds and God will water it and let it grow. At that stage of my life I was going through a spiritual wilderness and I realized that I didn't have that peace that Jesus spoke about. Loving friends reached out and and becoming part of a spiritual family, we realized what we missed. It was when I became part of a, of a connect group that, that the Holy Spirit convicted me that I have some serious faulty foundations. It was when I started leading my own connect group that I learned that there's some things that you learn only by teaching. And, and the, the peace that surpasses all understanding, you get by walking in purpose, God's purpose for your life. I have a purpose. You have a purpose, we all have a purpose, but sometimes that purpose is not grounded in knowledge and in skills. And for me, being able to do this, to equip myself, or to be equipped, just provided the missing link to the purpose and gave me the knowledge, the confidence, the ability to go out and to fulfill that purpose of letting people know just how good God is and exactly how He has transformed my life and how He could transform yours. I think the greatest thing is for me seeing that after I had my own connect group that the people that were in my connect group identified new leaders and they created their own connect group and which identified leaders and equipped them and created more connect groups and it's so good to see that me starting off as a, a, a disciple making more disciples and making more disciples and seeing real change in people's lives. So I'm very thankful for the methods and tools within Every Nation that empowered us to actually make a difference and empower every person to make a difference. We exist to honor God by establishing Christ-centered, spirit-empowered, socially responsible churches and campus ministries in every nation. We value your growth 
immensely. Now that you are here, there is only one thing left to do. Go.